Mikhail Koyada, the 22-year-old from St. Petersburg, who won the Russian Junior Championship back in 2013, and he said, okay, he's on his way. Maybe the next Yevgeny Plushenko, but he had a major injury then, an ankle injury, which really held him back a couple of seasons before bouncing back on the silver medal at the Russian Nationals in 2016, and he hopes to keep going in that direction. He's added two new quads this season, a quad Lutz, which is the most difficult, and a quad Sal. He popped the quad Lutz in the short program, but he's gonna go for it again right here. It's a big ask for Olympic season, especially when it's not consistent. Oof, amazing height on that quad Lutz, though. His basic technique is so strong, he could quad any of these jumps but mentally he hasn't been able to step over the triple axle quad toe of yesteryear. There's that quad sal. Nice and clean, but his three leg is not ready for the checkout. And sometimes that just comes from experience and confidence. Silver medal at the Russian Nationals in 2016. Mikhail moved up to the top step last year. And again, there are only two spots for the Russian men at the Olympics. If you look at history too, Johnny, recent history, the last Russian Olympic medal for a man, Yevgeny Plushenko, a silver back in 2010. The Russian men are not experiencing the same level of success as the ladies. There are currently four skaters that could earn those two spots on the Russian men's team for the Olympics, but none of them can be considered medal contenders. so wonderful about Mikhail skating is that he has the beautiful, lofty, classic Russian technique on these jumps. It's just all about consistency. It's a one-point deduction, no matter how many times you fall. Now the rule is, if you fall three times or more, it is two points. So it's very costly. In fact, even for a fifth fall, it goes up even more of the deduction. Three points. So much thought goes into what you're going to skate to in an Olympic season, and I'm not quite sure that this is the right choice for his free program, for his Olympic moment. A little 
little bit not his style. He's funny and interesting, and this is just trying to be something he's not. Bit of a rough way to open up your Grand Prix season and do it at home, too, because there's so much pressure for the Russian skaters in Moscow. There's only two spots, and, and Mikhail has been battling it out with Kovtun over the last few years, but now there's a new guy in town, and we'll see him next, Aliyev, and he's doing pretty good. Dmitry Aliyev, just a teenager, will be next. Mikhail Koyada from Mikhail Russia. Koyada. Place, Moscow, if you've never been to it, it's worth a visit. Mikhail Koyada in the Kiss and Cry waiting for the numbers now. You see those four deductions, three falls plus an extra point taken off for falling three times or more. Technical elements still getting that 100.27, which is a great score. Uh, presentation, I think he can do much better on his program component scores, getting more involved in the music, really making it his own. But Javier Fernandez, tough, tough act to follow last year with his Elvis. Yeah. Was in fourth after the short program, a little less than three points out of what would be bronze medal position. We'll see if he can hang on in the lead right now.